tell us about your journey to America? All right. So, uh, we, the journey started around 1939. Uh -huh. The journey to America was not a short one. Uh, but by then, that was not even it. It started around 36, or 37, or 38. When you were born, in other words? Uh, after I was born, uh, no, my father was a policeman in Kajukeji, and my father being a policeman, uh, there was a problem when the Italians came to fight the British or something or other in 1936 or 37 or such something. And some Ethiopian deserter ran all the way from Ethiopia through the South Sudan up to Kajukeji. And he came to the place when my father was there. Uh, on duty, but my father never, some other, he never reported this visitor. And then for that one, he was dismissed. After he was dismissed, the same thing that happened uh, was that uh, I was born, when, and then when I was born, some lady who didn't want my presence uh, came one day to pose on me with a with the kisum. She brought uh, some kisum on cassava or potatoes and so on. Uh, but my sister who is in the house there, she ran uh, she outran that woman. This woman went home, killed, uh, mislaid the cassava and her own son was my age mate, ate it. So my, I had an uncle in Bobby who had to who was working there. He came to Gajukeji for a holiday and he said, Brother in law, now that this woman has killed her son instead of killing my nephew, you had better run with him to Uganda immediately. Otherwise she would do the worst thing to the whole family. So that very week we started running away. My father was not a no longer a policeman, so he would go to Uganda. Uh, my uncle had come back from Uganda, so he would tell uh, these people, go to Uganda, go to Bobi, you will be welcome there. My Then we went. Three days on the way. This was the first part of the journey on foot from uh, Kajubeji to Guru, and to Guru, to, to Bobi. But 1945, there was sleeping sickness, or mums, or something. So we were called, the chief of Bobby had built a school, but there were no, not many incubators. So he called for us to come. Everybody came for the inoculation, and uh, uh, he interviewed me, the chief put me on his back, interviewed me, I passed on Friday, that today. And then he said, on Monday, send this one to school. So I was sent to school on Monday by this same woman called Anna. You are not a And so now uh, I went to school. I did well. That some actually there I told my father, look well after this. This one is no longer ours. This belongs to the school. So I was already taken out of the Gugu community. I was taken out of the Gugu community. And now belongs to the group who goes to school. So I was prohibited to participate in oral literature, in Jolly dances, in Gugu dances, and so on and so forth. I was taken to church, I was baptized, and so on. So I stayed there. I studied, went to primary school, went to Google High School. Google High School is where most of our things come from because most of the Jolly writers were graduates of Bobby Primary School or Google High School. That is where Okot Fabitek went to school, that is where some other people I know, actually, Kumu, and so on and so forth, they went to school from Guru High School, including uh, Dr. Uh, I 
uh, Martin Abike, who was invited to become my brother in the, the brother of uh, Lucia Pio. So we went to school, and then of course, Abike went to America. I continued good high school, I went to Kembogo, Kembogo. No, I went first to Sir Simon Beggar School, from Sir Simon Beggar School to Kembogo. I came back to Bulu, and then independence was coming, when independence was coming, they said, okay, uh, the Russians wanted to take bright Africans to Russia to make them communist. The British Americans said, we shall take others to America to make them uh, capitalists. So that is how uh, these scholarships were made available. An advertisement was made that there was going to be a scholarship for going to America. On African American scholarship. So I went from Bobby, uh, from Guru, to be interviewed. Went to see Abike. He said, Come and see me first. The interview was to be on Tuesday. Went to see him uh, on Friday, I think Friday or Saturday. He came in his over, looked at me, said, After that, so he told me to go and cut away. Which was my mark of being a UPC politician. Anyway, I got it and I got my scholarship. And then we went, we flew. But Alika's wife was also the second time. So I flew. And before all of you knew it, I never went to any single class with a single cuckoo all my life. I have never been employed by a single cuckoo. I have never been assisted by a single cuckoo. Mine is a different story altogether. So a lot of people in the world, they kept, took me from hand to hand, hand to hand, hand to hand, hand to hand. They even took my daughter. On a scholarship to America. She didn't go by sport, she went with me. But that was after we had already been there. Anyway, so we went, the Americans wanted us to be indoctrinated on the ship. So we flew from Entebbe to Fort Lamy, which used to be called Fort Lamy. Fort Lamy, that is in Chad, Lake Chad. So yes, we landed there at 2 a.m. in the morning of uh, August uh, 1962. So we went from there to La Havre uh, in France. We took a tour of the scene and everything there for a whole weekend. We saw a lot of things in Paris. And then after that, of course, the journey to America started. From Port La Havre Port, we went to Southampton, and the port was called the Good Beer, B E E R E. That is a word called Bear, the stars in the sky. So we went. The port was not big. We took something like 18 days to go to America. Uh, I had lost 8 kilos or eight or nine kilos, I think it was eight. Every day uh, I was losing half a kilo and so on and so forth. Because the, it was compact, the smell from uh, the engine was bad. Mm -hmm. You are seated there, you are doing this and that, and then of course you find people are running all over the place, they're going to the toilet. You know, it went through up, it went through up. Yeah. So the the uh, way of indoctrinating us did not even succeed much because we were already running, 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 running for that. Uh, but of course, we now know that ours was only uh, eight days, but for the Africans who were taken in slavery, there was worse. 
gas was missing. But now that, in terms of a number of people dying, uh, maybe even equal to the number of people dying on the way to swimming to, uh, to Europe. Too many people are dying going to Europe. You mean now? Now. Now. Okay. now. Yeah. And we actually somehow one wonders, one wonders, did we get this independence in order to make life difficult for us? Difficult for fellow Africans? I can't see how we who fought her. It was those of us who were artists, who gave, who sang songs to the politicians, to the president, whether it is professor, whether it is president, or whoever. They were all part of the same band. They got us independent and then they messed his all up and they're still messing things. So it looks as if we, we who joined in praising the freedom fighters uh, need to answer for our sins because uh, whatever, like here in South Sudan, whatever we, the Arabs did, we could have done better than the Arabs. Right? So when are we going to find out what can the Africans do for Africa so that next time some African country wants to have World Cup, not so many Africans go and vote for some other continent, but they would vote for that one so that we can think about our own uh, so that our own can also be happy about us. But these are things which the future writer in their solitude should think of. Okay, so this is Noah Moga with Taste of South Sudan. We have concluded our interview with Professor Tabando Leon. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, this has been, for me, a learning experience as I'm learning even new details and new things about my history and my father's history and my own language. Daddy, thank you so much. Okay, this was thank wonderful. You. Thank you. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank, you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. These are stories, pass them to people I have to 